In today's Vinyasa flow, we will focus on wide legged forward folds. Start by coming to the top of the mat. Have your big toes together, heels a centimeter an inch apart. Tailbone is long, shoulders relaxed, lengthen through the crown of the head, arms by your side. Sunamaskara A. Inhale, raise your arms, palms touching, look up and stretch. And exhale, fold forward, relax your head, fingers on the mat, in line with your toes. Inhale, lengthen, lift, everything straightens your back, your legs, your arms. And exhale, step back into plank pose. Bring your shoulders forward, place your knees down, lower all the way onto your belly. Point your toes, lift up into a cobra. Slowly lower down, nose to hover, press up, seat to heel, and downward facing dog. Pedal your feet in your down dog. And release your heels down. Spread your fingers. Neck is relaxed, belly sucked in. Hips raise as high as you can. Bend your knees, look towards your hands, step or walk your feet forward. Inhale, lengthen, lift, everything straightens. Exhale, fold, soften your knees, relax your neck. Inhale, come up with a straight back, take your arms with you over your head, look towards your thumbs, samastiti here, arms by your side. Again, inhale, raise, and exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, lift. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Hold here. You want straight line from the crown of the head to the heels. Tailbone long, ribs together. Bring your shoulders forward, place your knees down. Hold here. You will bend the elbows backwards, no more than 90 degrees. You lower down as one straight line. Point your toes, engage your glutes, lift up into your back, bend your arms go straight, your thighs, your hips are off the mat. Shoulders away from the ears, downward facing dog. Seat to heel, toes are tucked under, lift your hips up, down dog. Relax your neck and breathe. Deep inhales and exhales through the nose. Bend your knees, lifting your heels, look towards your hands, step, walk or hop your feet forward. Inhale, lengthen, lift, everything straightens. Exhale, fold, soften your knees. Inhale, lift up into a standing position, come up with a straight back, palms touching, samastitihi, arms by your side. One more, inhale, raise, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, lift, exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, shoulders forward, hold here, chaturanga. Knees stay off the mat if you can. Bend the elbows backwards. Lift up into your back bend, glutes engaged and downward facing dog. Stay here and breathe. Fingers are spread, hips come high, neck is relaxed. Next time you're taking in, have raise your heels, bend your knees, look forward and exhale, jump. Inhale, lengthen, lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, come up, palms touch. Samasthiti. Bend your knees, come into chair pose. Extend your arms forward, tailbone is long. Look over your knees, make sure you can see your ten toes. Holding here, weight is in your heels. One more inhale, next exhale, fold forward and relax your neck. Have your knees soft. Take a big step back with the right leg. Then lower your right knee onto the mat. Your left knee is above your left ankle. Gently push your hips forward and down. Hold here. For three more. Two. And one. Back toes are tucked under. Lift your knee. Step forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Take a big step back with the left leg. Lower down your knee onto the mat. Your right knee is above your right ankle. Gently push your hips forward and down, holding here. Fingertips are on the mat. Have your back as straight as you can. And breathe. For three more. Two. And one. Back toes are tucked under. Lift your knee. Step forward. 
Take an inhale here, exhale, fold. Stay in your forward fold. Take your arms behind your shins, getting hold of your opposite elbows. Hold here. And breathe. Neck relaxed. Raise your hips as high as you can. Release your hands, fingertips are on the mat. Take a big step back again with the right leg. Lower down your knee onto the mat. You can stay with your fingertips on the mat if you prefer, or take your arms up. Line your arms up with your ears. Keep pushing your hips forward and down. Holding here. For three more. Two. And one. Release. Fingertips come onto the mat. Back to the tuck down to lift the knee. Step forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Other leg. Take a big step back with the left leg. Lower down your knee. You can stay here or take your arms up. Have your arms lined up with your ears. Keep pushing your hips forward and down. Feel the stretch in your legs. Hold here for three more. Two and one. Fingertips come onto the mat. Back to the attack dander. Lift your knee up. Take a step forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Stay here. Have your feet a little bit apart, about hip distance. Pick up your big toes, middle index finger and thumb. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, fold. Relax your head down. Elbows are bending to the sides. Hold here. Maybe shift the weight forward. Maybe straighten your legs a little bit more. Press your big toes down. For three more, two, and one. Release. Fingertips come onto the mat. Take a big step back again with the right leg. Lower down your knee onto the mat. You can stay here or lift up. For now, place your hands onto your thighs. Push your hips forward and down. Either stay or reach behind you with your hands. Bending your left leg, pick up your foot. If you can, you use both hands. If only one hand is available to pick up your foot, you do that. Hold here for three, two, and one. Release. Fingertips come onto the mat, back to the tuck under. Lift your knee, step forward. Inhale, lengthen, lift, exhale, fold. Take a big step back with the left leg. Lower your knee onto the mat. Lift your torso for now. Place your hands into your thighs. Push your hips forward and down. You can stay here or reach behind you for your left foot. So if you can, you use both hands. If only one hand is available, you do that. Stay steady, keep pushing your hips forward and down. Very strong stretch in the front of your left leg. Hold here for three more, two, and one. Release gently. Place your fingertips onto the mat. Back to the attack under. Lift your knee, step forward. Inhale, lengthen, lift, exhale, fold. Stay here. Feet are again a little bit apart, about hip distance. Take your hands, place them underneath your feet until your toes touch your wrist. Inhale, lengthen, lift, exhale, fold. Relax your head down. Hold here. Shift the weight forward. Legs as straight as you can. And breathe. For three more. Two. And one. Release your hands. Soften your knees. Slowly come rolling up into your standing position, vertebra for vertebra. Shoulders and head last. Arms by your side. Bend your knees, come into chair pose. Hold here. Table long ribs together. 
One more inhale. On your next exhale, you start to fold forward, fingertips brush the mat, then interlace your hands behind you. Take your arms with you over your head as you fold forward and straighten your legs completely. Relax your neck. Stay here. If possible, shift the weight forward and breathe for three more. Two. And one, come back into chair pose. Release your hands, bend your knees, fingertips brush the mat. Arms extended forward. Or if you want to make it harder, line your arms up with your ears. Hold here for three, two, and one. Again, you come into your forward fold. Fingertips brush the mat, interlace your hands behind you. Take your arms with you over your head and fold. Legs go straight without necessarily locking the knees. Just try and maybe have your belly still on your thighs. Hold here for three more. Two. And one. Keep your hands interlaced. Start to bend your knees until your thighs are approximately parallel to the mat. Hold here. Hands are interlaced. Belly's resting on your thighs. Feel your leg muscles working. And then release your hands, extend your arms forward. Your belly is still resting on your thighs. I know it's burning. Interlace your hands. Index fingers are pointing forward. Hold here. Arms line up with your ears. Hold for three, two. Come into a standing position and release your arms by your side. Inhale, raise your arms, palms touch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, lift. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, shoulders forward. Exhale, chaturanga, knees on or off the mat. Inhale, lift up into your back bend. And exhale, come into your downward facing dog. Take an inhale, raise your right leg up. Exhale, right foot between your hands, left heel down for warrior one. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, and exhale. One more. Inhale, and exhale. Release your hands, step back. Inhale, shoulders forward. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift up, back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot forward, right heel down. Warrior one. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper, ribs together, inhale, and exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, release your hands down, step back, plank, shoulders forward on your inhale, exhale, bend the elbows, inhale, lift up, exhale, downward facing dog, stay here and breathe, relax your neck, heels descend down towards the mat. Hold, then bend your knees, look towards your hands and hop forward. Inhale, lengthen, lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, come up, palms touch, Samastiti. Inhale, raise and exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, shoulders forward, exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here and breathe. And raise your right leg up towards the ceiling. Hips stay square for now and flex your foot. Right toes face towards the mat. Your left heel is releasing down towards the mat. Now point your right toes. Open the hips. Raise your leg higher. Your little toe comes towards the ceiling. Hold here, spread your fingers, arms stay straight, and bend your right knee. Your right heel comes towards your left buttock. Knee as high as you can. Hold here. And then slowly release. Place the foot down. Other side. Left leg comes up. For now, keep your hips square, flex your foot. Release your right heel down towards the mat. Holding here. Then point your toes, open your hips, raise your legs as high as you can. 
hold here and then bend your left knee knee as high as you can holding here and release foot comes down onto the mat pedal your feet a few times bend your knees look towards your hands step walk or hop forward inhale lengthen and lift exhale fold inhale come up palms touch Summer city, arms by your side. Table long, ribs together. Take your arms up, have your palms touching, and then maybe you come into your mini back bend. Look towards your thumbs, take your arms behind you, keep your glutes engaged. Table stays long, ribs together. Take an inhale here, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, step back or you can hop back into a plank pose. Inhale, shoulders forward. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal your feet. Take your right foot outside your right hand. Lower down your left knee onto the mat. Push your hips forward and down. Then walk your hands back, just a little bit. Bend the elbows backwards. The forehead comes towards the mat. Keep your right foot grounded. If it's better for you to have the toes turn out towards one o'clock, you can do that. Keep your right knee above your right ankle. Hold here. Straighten out your arms again. Walk your hands forward. Your back toes are tucked under, lift your knee up and again walk your hands back, fold forward, bending the elbows backwards, holding here and we come out of the pose, straighten your arms, walk your hands forward, step back, full vinyasa, plank pose, take an inhale here, shoulders forward, and exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come into your downward facing dog. Other side. Left foot comes outside your left hand. Low down your right knee onto the mat. Walk your hands back, just a little. Bend the elbows backwards, fold forward. So forehead comes towards the mat. Keep your left foot grounded and your knee above your ankle, as best as you can. And then slowly straighten out your arms. Walk your hands forward again. Back toes are tucked under, lift your knee up. And again, walk your hands back. Fold forward, bend the elbows backwards. Hold here. Keep your front leg bent deeply. For three more. Two and one. Straighten out your arms. Walk your hands forward. Take a step back into plank. Take an inhale, shoulders forward. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal your feet. Bend your knees, look towards your hands. Step, walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up, palms touch. Samastiti. Place your hands onto your hips. Take a big step to the side. And turn your toes out and your heels in. Tailbone is long. Bend your knees. Hold here. If you're taking it easier, your stance is a little bit shorter. If you want to make it harder, you go wide and sink your hips deeper. Tailbone is long. Gently press your knees to the side. Hold here. Interlace your hands. Index finger facing forward. Take your arms up. Arms are next to your ears. Then wiggle your shoulders a bit. Maybe you can take your arms behind you. Try not to puff out your chest. And release. Place your hands onto your hips. Straighten out your legs. Bring your feet parallel to each other. Take an inhale and exhale, fold forward. 
place your hands onto the mat, fingers in line with your toes. Inhale here and exhale, fold. Relax your head down, press your palms down, bend your elbows backwards. Toes are turned in slightly, keep it that way. Shift the weight forward. Hold here for three more. Two and one. Inhale, lengthen, lift. Exhale, hands on your hips. Inhale, come all the way up. If you've gone quite wide with your stance, shorten it a little bit. Turn your right toes forward. Extend your arms to the side for triangle. Inhale and then exhale. Hinge, you're reaching forward as far as you can. Come up again and again. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge, reach forward. Holding here and then swivel your arms. Place your hand either on your shin or you can have it hovering inside your leg. Other arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Reach up and down at the same time. So you're not shortening your right side. Hold here. One more inhale. Next exhale, look down. Inhale, come up. Keep your arms extended. Pivot your feet around to the other side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Hold here. And then come up again. Let's do that again. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. You're reaching forward and then you're swiveling your arms. Your right arm comes up and your left hand is either resting on your shin, please not on your knee, or it's hovering inside your leg. Gaze is up, shoulders away from the ears, holding here, both legs as straight as you can. One more inhale. Next exhale, look down. Inhale, come up. Place your hands onto your hips. Bring your feet parallel to each other again. Inhale, exhale, fold forward, place your fingertips on the mat, a little bit further forward, so they're underneath the shoulders. Now, heel to your feet wider, as wide as you can, but stay in control. You don't want to slide, just want to heel to your feet as wide as you can, have your toes still turning inwards slightly. Simply hold here, if possible, have the palms pressing down for extra support and breathe. For three more. Two. And one. Here to your feet back. Holding here. And again, here to your feet wider. Maybe not quite as wide. See how you go. So this time we want to walk the hands back again until the fingers are in line with the toes. Bend the elbows backwards as you fold forward this time. So maybe the crown of the head is on the mat. Hold here. For three. Two. And one. Lengthen lift. So look forward again, walk your hands forward, bring your feet in again. Take a moment here, bring them a little bit closer towards each other. Get hold of your ankles and come into a more relaxed forward fold. And again, lengthen your spine, place your fingertips or your hands onto the mat, heel to your feet, out to the side. So go as wide as you feel comfortable. You always want to stay in control. This time, walk your hands behind you. Go as far as you can. Have your fingers facing forward. Now, if this is uh, easy for you, place the crown of the head onto the mat. Now, turn your fingers away from you and straighten your arms. So you walk your fingers as far away from you as you can. Palms pressed down, arms are straight, crown of the head on the mat. Hold here for three, two, and one. Walk your hands forward again. Lengthen, lift your spine. Bring your fingertips underneath the shoulders. Hold here. If you've gone quite wide with the feet, bring them a little bit closer towards each other. Retwist. Have your left hand underneath your face. 
Right arm comes up towards the ceiling. Hold here and breathe. Reach up as high as you can for three more. Two and one. Release your hand down. Other side. Left arm comes up. Right hand is underneath the face. Hold here. Reach up for three, two, and one. Hand comes down. Bring your feet closer until they're all the way together. Hands on the mat in front of your feet. Lift your heels up. Bend your knees in a crouching position. Holding here. And place your knees onto the mat. Sit on your heels. Hands come onto your thighs. Close your eyes. Shoulders relaxed. Sit up tall. Gently blink your eyes open. Bring your legs over to the right side for mermaid position. The sole of your left foot is on top of the right thigh. Hands are left and right of you. Reach your left arm up, inhale and exhale. Come into a side stretch. Hold here. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. Spin your chest open slightly. And over to the other side. Reach up and over. Shoulders away from the ears. Holding here. And then come back into a seated position. Come laying on your side. Have your knees bent. Bring your knees close towards your chest. Head is resting. Your left arm is underneath and straight. Place your right palm on top of the left. Do some circles again. So you're reaching your right fingertips forward. Draw a circle. Take the fingers over the head till you're in your twist. Take the arm down and around. Two more like this. So reach the fingers forward and then draw your circle. All the way, move slowly. One more, and this time you're staying in the twist for a bit. So once your arms create one straight line, stay here. Hold here. And then take your arm forward again. Three circles in the other direction. So again, your fingertips reach forward, draw a circle, so you're going down first to the side, up and over your head, and forward. And two more like this. So this time we're not taking a break, we're drawing our circle. And you come laying on your back. Bring your knees towards your chest, holding here. Extend your legs up towards the ceiling. Place your hands into your outer thighs. And extend your legs to the sides. You're coming into a straddle. Support your legs here. So hands there on the outer thighs for now. Flex your toes and point. Flex and point. Do that a few more times. Now draw some circles just with the ankles in one direction. Do a few. And then switch direction. And then stay here. Flex your feet, straighten your legs out as much as you can. You can support your legs, or to make it harder, place your hands onto your inner thighs and gently press your legs wide. Holding here. For three more. Two and one. Bring your legs together, hug your knees into your chest, Walk from side to side a few times. Then start to walk forwards and backwards until you are in the seated position. Legs are straight.
flex your feet, sit up tall. Inhale, raise your arms and exhale, hinging from your hips, fold forward. Place your hands onto the mat. Keep your back straight. Look towards your big toes. Hold here. For three more. Two. And one. Slowly come up. Place the sole of your right foot against your left inner thigh. Drop the knee to the side. Sit up tall. Torso centered over your straight leg. Take an inhale and exhale, hinging from the hips, fold forward. Holding here. For three more. Two. And one. Come up. Switch legs. Sit up tall. Torso centered over your straight leg. Inhale and exhale. Fold forward. Hold here. And breathe. Right toes face towards the ceiling. Leg is engaged. For three more. Two. And one. Slowly come up. Place the soles of your feet together. Drop your knees to the side. Sit up tall. Walk from side to side a few times. Press your elbows against the inner thighs. Inhale and exhale. Fold forward. Hold here. Shoulders away from your ears. Keep your back straight. For three. Two. And one. Slowly come up. Extend your legs to the side. Just maybe turn on your mat. Take your hands behind you. Fingers facing away from you. Sit up as tall as you can. You can bend your knees and flex and point your toes a few times. And then keep your feet flexed. Hold here. Walk your hands closer towards your hips. Press your chest forward. You're hinging from the hips. Your back is straight. You're almost in a back bend. And then release briefly. Again, sit up tall. This time, take your hands in front of you. Feet are flexed. Inhale and exhale, hinging from the hips, fold forward. Keep your back as straight as you can. Remember, you can bend your knees. Hold here for three, two, and one. Slowly come up. Place your hands underneath your knees. Lift your knees up. Come into a mermaid position. This time, feet come to the left. Sit up tall. Hands are left and right of you. Raise your right arm up, inhale and exhale, side stretch. Spin your chest open slightly, shoulders away from the ears. Slowly come up, switching sides, reach up and over. And remember, shoulders away from your ears, you're not hunching the shoulders, keep them relaxed. Spin your chest open slightly and slowly come up. Come laying on your side. Knees are bent, bring them close towards your chest. Arms extended. Palms press on top of each other. And then reach your left fingertips away from you. Draw your circle here. It's a nice big circle. Move slowly. We do two more here. One more, and you stay in your twist. So once your arms create one straight line, stay here. And then finish your circle. Three circles in the other direction. So you're going down first, and arm next to you over your head, and then finish your circle. Two more. Last one. Don't rush. Come laying on your back. Bring your knees towards your chest. Walk from side to side a few times. And bring your knees towards your armpits. 
Hold here. Happy baby pose. Take your arms inside your knees. Catch the outer edges of your feet. Lift your feet up until the soles of your feet are parallel to the ceiling. Gently pull your knees down. Tailbone is long, as long as you can. Hold here. Keep holding onto the outer edges of your feet. Start to straighten out your legs. So you're coming into your white leg forward fold, laying down. Feet go wide. Pull your feet towards the mat. Hold here. Arms straight and legs as straight as you can. If you like, you can roll from side to side a few times. Move slowly. And then come back to the center. Hug your knees into your chest. Again, roll from side to side a few times. And we come back into a seated position. So start to walk forwards and backwards until you're sitting down. Straighten out your legs. Take your right leg and bring your right knee over the left. So knees are stacked on top of each other. Flex your left foot. Inhale and exhale, fold forward here. Don't go too, too, too deep. Stay. So three more. Two. And one. Slowly come up and release. Switching sides. So knees are stacked on top of each other. Your right leg is straight. Inhale and exhale. Fold forward. For three more, two, and one. Slowly come up, release your legs. Bend your right leg, place the foot flat on the mat, have a hand's distance between the foot and between your inner thigh. Your arms inside your knee. Take your right arm up, inhale, and then exhale, reach forward as far as you can. Catch the outer edge of your foot, pull, fold forward, hold here. Keep your right foot grounded. For three, two, left leg is straight, and one. Slowly come up and switch sides. Foot on the mat, have a hand's distance between your foot and your inner thigh. Your right hand stays on the mat, left arm comes up, inhale and exhale, reach forward and then catch the outer edge of your foot, pull, fold forward, keep your left foot grounded for three more, two and one, slowly come up, place the soles of your feet together, bring your heels close towards you, bring your elbows in front of your shins, fold forward with the round back. Hold here, drop your knees to the side and breathe for three, two, and one. Slowly come up, lift your knees up, extend your legs to the side again. Take your hands behind you, lift your hips up, scooch forward. So you want to be as wide as you can with the legs. That's why we practice it. It's easier to come into a forward fold when the legs are wide. Okay, holding here. I'm just realizing I'm getting a cramp. <laughs> Sorry. I have to lift my knees up, place the soles of the feet together. You can stay where you are. Just need to wiggle around a little bit. Okay. All right, and then I can join again. So you're here with the legs wide. And slowly fold forward. Keep your back straight for now. So we will do a few of those. 
don't overdo it. Move slowly and mindfully and breathe. Keep your feet flexed. For three more. Two. And one. Slowly come up. Bend your right leg. Good. So your heel comes towards your crotch. Sit up tall, fold forward through the center again. Should be a bit easier. Focus on your left leg. Flex the foot, leg is straight. Keep your hips grounded. So stay, stay sitting on your bum. Hold here. Maybe go a little bit further forward. For three more. Two. And one. Slowly come up. Walk your hands back, switching sides. That's deep stuff. So when you're ready, take an inhale and exhale. Fold forward. And again, take your focus on your right leg. Your leg is straight, foot is flexed. Stay grounded. So it's tempting now to lift your bottom off the mat. Don't. Maybe go a little bit deeper, walk your hands further forward. For three more. Two. And one. Slowly come up. Relax your legs for a moment, shake them out. Maybe rub them. And again, go wide with the legs. Take your hands behind you, scooch forward. Don't get a cramp. Ground your back forward. Relax your legs. Stay here. And breathe. If you can, you have your elbow, elbows on the mat. Maybe rest your head in your hands. Stay a little bit longer for five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly come up. Just briefly release the legs. Give them a little rub. Okay, you ready? Let's go for it. So take your legs wide. Take your hands behind you, scooch forward, sit up tall. Take an inhale and exhale, fold forward. If you're very tight in the hamstrings, then a straight back doesn't make any sense to you. So please, please, you can round your back, nothing wrong with that. But if you can, you keep your back straight and take the inner edges of your feet and fold forward. Pull yourself deeper into your forward fold. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come up. Lift your knees up. Take a moment. If you've had enough, you've had enough, you can stop or you can repeat or if you want to join me for something a little bit more experimental, have your feet on something that's sliding. So a wood floor is, uh, is ideal, or if you have some towels, that's great as well. Fold forward here, take your arms to the side, and then slowly you're sliding your feet away from you. So you're coming into a forward fold. Again, belly may come closer towards the mat, hold here, flex your feet and breathe for three more, two and one. And then with control, somehow slide your legs back. Well done, that was hard, that was amazing. Come to a cross-legged position. So relax your legs. 
can give your legs a bit of a rub. They have worked hard today. Thank you so much for joining me. If uh, you want to work on this, I suggest uh, to maybe sit up against the wall. I'll show at the end of the video and have the legs wide. So this is something you can practice while doing some other things. If you've had enough and you're desperate for coffee, I want to say thank you and I see you next time. Namaste. For those who want to work on their straddle, here's a little homework. You have a blanket, maybe a cushion and the wall. Place the cushion against the wall. Come swinging around with the legs. Place your bum onto the cushion. So the cushion for now doesn't have to be all the way against the wall. See how you go. Come laying down. Ah, oh, It's not very elegant. It's a little bit faffy. And then take your legs up. So your heels are on the wall. If it's a freshly painted wall, maybe talk to anyone else who's living in the house, if that's all right, what you're doing here. To take your legs wide. And you're hanging out here. You can have your legs relaxed. I actually suggest to have your legs uh, relaxed. If you have any kind of support, you can also place uh, some support, maybe some, uh, um, some more cushions here next to your thighs. And you're simply staying here, reading a book, writing your text messages, or calling someone. And that way, you gradually will open your legs and stretch your inner thighs.